Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I will be talking about um, The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3 of The Walking Dead, Save the Last One. So yeah, so as a review goes, you know, a quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, then I'll read it, you know, as usual. So, this is the third episode for Season 2 of The Walking Dead, basically. And it's really, it's a pretty interesting episode for Shane. Basically, it basically shows what happened with him and Otis in the high school they were in. You know, and his interactions and everything with that. You know, and then you see the rest of the group, Daryl, Daryl, Glenn, Carol, and Andrew, you know, coming to a farm and basically... It's basically like the, like the com- merging or the combining of the two groups, Herschel's group and the, and Rick's group, group, and yeah. Um, what? That's my train of thought. So yeah, this is a pretty. Inter- this really shows maybe the most, one of the most up to that point intense. Or interesting, you know, however you want to say, um, episode, like, character development of any character for Shane. <coughs> Wait, <coughs> I mean, you, you, you finally are understanding that he's going to the dark side, he's slowly turning, his morals are, you know, slowly, de- like, deteriorating, so he only saves the people he loves. And, yeah. And, you know, yeah. Um, there are some pretty key points in this episode, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it's with Cherokee Rose or or this one. Um, wait, let me try to remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Cherokee Rose. Because, I mean, a good half of this episode was focused around Shane and Otis. You know, it was Cherokee, Cherokee Rose. I mean, the one thing that I don't really like about this episode um is that the other half of this episode focuses around you know the whole carl drama but it makes it look too over dramatic and too unrealistic i mean yes i understand he's shot and everything but it just seems a little bit unrealistic to an extent but you know nevertheless it's still a pretty cool episode to watch <clears throat> um another problem with this episode is some parts of it seem like filler, as most of season two, first half of season two seem. I mean, most of the episodes seem like filler, or they're just some episodes that are complete fillers and whatever. Um, and yeah, and it's it's pretty interesting too with the Shane and Otis interaction. I mean, you you see this guy. Basically trying to help Shane out, you know, and Carl and everything. And then he just turns his back on him, you know, that's some pretty cool um, character interaction and development. And I don't think up to that point we've seen anything like that before. And I think it's very well done, like how he slowly is changing and all that. Um, all that. We, I mean, but still it does have its problems. I mean, some parts are it's seem like a little bit over dramatic or whatever. I mean yeah. Yeah. Um I mean you still see the aftermath of um I mean you still kinda see the, the, a little bit of the aftermath aftermath of Otis's death, but you really don't see it much until Cherokee Rose. And, and that that's pretty much yeah, I mean really it's not much to talk about this episode. I mean a book of it was Read a lot of about Shane and Otis. I mean, then again, the whole high school sequence and all that, that was pretty fun to look at. You know, a lot of action, you know, a little bit of comedy in the, in the mix. But it was a lot of action, well, or as action as it could be. But, you know, the action was a, good, a huge up or a bonus for this episode because without the action, with the added action would have been just horrendous. And,. Yeah, and I think this is, a p- pretty sure this is, like, one of the few episodes we actually have a huge quantity of walkers. I mean, we ha- I mean, really, the only ones I could think of is the first, is the first one for season two. I mean, for this season, it will be season two. 
premiere uh this one trigger finger or trigger fire i think and it's trigger finger 18 miles out and beside the dying fire i mean really most of these um episodes really don't have much walkers and if they do like one or two but but either way it's you know it's good to see the walker amount and you know the walker deaths some of the walker deaths were amazing no not amazing because most of them were just gunshot you know but to the brain type of thing but um they were pretty cool the one thing i don't understand about the title it's kind of hypocritical because it's save the last one and zombie apocalypse save the last one it means save your last bullet for itself you know but shane he didn't save his last bullet for himself he saved it he put it on Otis to jack his stuff you know save carl and i kind of understand where he's coming from you know someone's not gonna survive it can't be it has to be this guy this you or me is like you know off one type of thing you know man for himself you know and this also this um episode does open maybe the most interesting interaction like for the aftermath with the most interesting interaction between shane and dale shane and rick shane and lori dale and rick dale and lori a little bit for dale and glenn um you know it's the aftermath of this episode is pretty interesting so yeah now, on a rate um, from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 16 being decent, I'd have to put this at a 7.5. Mean, I mean, the interact, the, I mean, most of the aftermath is pretty significant for the rest of the season, but it's still taking out the aftermath. Um, and Some of the action sequences were good. You finally see the Shane turning, which is huge plot point. Or, you know, key factor for this season, which is good. You get to see a little bit more who, of what Shane will eventually turn out to be. But, yeah, you have some parts that are dramatic, over dramatic and feather. So, as I said, 7.5. I'm just going to go 1 to 10. So, yeah. This is Daniel Mart. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed or new around here. To have other Walking Dead review videos and other videos just you know, on The Walking Dead. And, yeah, and also review comics and movies and other stuff of that nature and and yeah 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 brain fart whatever um what was i saying yeah share this on facebook myspace twitter instagram vine or whatever you guys prefer you know comment below on your thoughts on this episode and the video you know tell me if you liked it if you didn't you know, the episode or you know my this video check out my channel i do have with the videos as i said before to your friends tell your friends families and neighbors and about me and my channel and my videos and all that good stuff and yeah this is daniel mart signing off